Hi, hey, Core Reporters. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yesterday, we posted a video about the damage left behind when disgraced former Teen Mom OG star Ryan Edwards destroyed the marital home that he shared with his estranged wife, Mackenzie Standifer, and their children. So now what I've got for you today is a video of Mackenzie walking in and just seeing all of that for the first time. And so I figured, why not watch it at the same time as you guys per usual? So so I did catch like a couple of seconds. I know that at the very beginning she walks in and claims to have not known about his like drug addiction and stuff like that until the day after marrying him, which we all know is not true, right? Um, but anyway, regardless, let's watch the video together and then we'll talk about it as it goes. I don't know what part of the house this is. I think this is the basement because I'm seeing a different fridge in a different area. Like, oh my goodness, this man really went through every single floor and just tore everything up. Like he has so much hate in his heart to do this to his parents' house, to the house that his children live in, right? Let's go. Come on, dear, today. Put your head for a long time. Ryan has severe substance abuse issues that I found out about the day after we got married. Which, of course, we all knew was not true. Ryan was nodding off on his way to that wedding. Mackenzie took the steering wheel and asked him if he was popping the Zanny bars. So um, for her to go ahead and tell the cops that she had no idea until after the marriage is simply untrue. Um, but um, I digress. Let's continue along. Six years ago, uh -huh. all of that was on national television and everything. Oh, and so God. I stayed and tried to help. You know, I was twenty, and um, it just got to be too much. You know, I've done the jail thing, we've done the rehab thing several times. I had our kids alone. He was in rehab. And, um, Do you guys see the way that the toys are broken? This is like a little baby stroller that's all torn up and stuff. There's another one um, tossed aside. And here are some other just like plastic toys just messed about. You know. <laughs> it's just got Cabinetry. Did he know that you were going to file? <laughs> I told him that I wanted a divorce on maybe like the second Wednesday of the month of January. So he yeah, fell right. for a minute. And then they came out because I, he just got crazy and violent. He's never been that way before, ever. So there you guys go. I uh, remember the stories that were coming out when she was accusing him of violence and whatnot. This is where it came from. Like, this was bad, you guys. Truly, truly, truly awful. How much did you kids see? They saw the whole thing. Yeah, they saw the whole thing. Kids saw it all. Were they all right? I mean, I guess as much as a four to three year old can be, they just want to come home and now they can't. Do you have a place you guys can stay? Yeah. Oh my god. It's heartbreaking, man. Yeah. Dude, the fact that his kids can't even just be in their own home as they navigate this divorce and separation and whatnot is just wow. Devastating. Mackenzie's lucky that she's got family nearby to help her. But still, like, she shouldn't have to come home to this and worry about all of this, right? Man. I'm so sorry. No, what are you sorry for, Mackenzie? You remember what I told you last time we were out here, right? God. We're, we're here to help. I and this is, this is not a situation anybody should have to be dealing with what they're going through. Um, if you were to make just wild guess, where would you think he would go? Maybe his parents. Okay, where does that at? We're gonna go down to the to uh, box in here. Yeah. Get this yes, room, sir. you guys. It's like a hoarder's like 
place or whatever. Like this is awful, awful, awful. Everything has just been pulled out and thrown around, like just the writing on the wall. Oh. Look at the Once hallway. Oh, oh my God. Get that out. Uh, that one in there. You know, earlier it was said that the kids' room were untouched, but it looks like he threw a bunch of laundry in there too. Like they did not escape his wrath. And earlier we saw their toys uh, broken. Oh my God. Oh. Another what? Yes, sir. That paint all over the furniture, too, and all over the floors. Man, that guy is nuts. He's nuts. And the fact, you guys, not only did he get out on bond after this, but his parents showed up to the bail hearing. This, why, this is why he's like this. Is this, this going to be the rifle? No, that's what they're Oh, my God. The way my skin is crawling just looking at that. Just so horrible, so sad. Look at her, Jesus. Imagine you're coming home from work to see your house like this, all because you decided to divorce your husband who was so mean to you and allegedly violent and whatnot. So you want a cute apartment. Uh, uh, for you, hang on, who, I don't know who this lady is. Hang on, let me go back to what it says on the wall. So I'm trying to read this with you guys. I. So it's a list, okay? One, two, three, four, five. First of all, I do have to say I'm surprised he can count to five. I moved in, be done with Zach and lied. They, number two, cheated on me and had a child. Who had a child behind your back? Mackenzie didn't. What? Three, first jib something boss. I can't read his handwriting. So I work. Number four, sending pies of guy of your cat. Oh, picks. To the guy of your cat. Oh, you found us something. Number five. But I let all that S go when you stopped making. It's when I really knew. Okay, whatever. So this is his manifesto of why he's doing this. He's accusing her of having cheated with someone. And oh my God, I don't know how you did. Jesus, this is a lot. I knew when. Blah, 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 blah. You did this to yourself. I don't care. You lied to everyone. Like, there's a lot. Good, I know you knew. Holy mo. Oh, this is a oh! The way he left an envelope out there with that knife on it, you guys. Jesus Christ. What's in the envelope, I wonder? Wow. This is so scary, dude. Imagine you were just minding your own business, walking your dog, and the windows are all smashed smashed out of your neighbor's house and you look in and the man is spray painting he's throwing things over like just destroying the house he's writing paragraphs and dissertations on the wall like this like a whole maniac imagine witnessing this look at these eyes just these dark soulless eyes guys please 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 today's his hearing i hope they just lock him up and throw away the key he doesn't need to be outside anymore the fact that he could do this to his children's home is enough for me he shouldn't be free. He really shouldn't. Honestly, he is such a danger, not only to Mackenzie, but to his own kids at this point. He even wrote on the fridge for F sakes, you guys, right? Destroying his kids property, their bedrooms and stuff. They've got nowhere to go, but like to live with her family, which she's lucky to even have family around. You know, a lot of people don't have family around, right? Like geez, or live locally or whatever. Like that's really brutal stuff. Like that guy is evil. He truly is. I just felt so heartbroken for Mackenzie watching her do the walkthrough of that house. Like that must have been just absolutely devastating. But um, again, today is Ryan's hearing. Let's all just hope and pray that the, the, the system has had enough of trying to save this guy and has decided that he really is a lost cause. It should just lock him up. Guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.